Hey guys, um, I am super, super jazzed to film this video because we are gonna talk about one of my favorite topics in the whole world today, and that is rhinestones. Now, when you are in the DIY world or in the fashion world or in the you know dance world and someone says rhinestones, they're most often referring to flat back crystals. So I am gonna talk a little bit today about how the, the sizing works for flat backs, how the pricing works, and what brands are worth paying for and what brands are not worth paying for. So stay tuned to the end and I'm gonna show you how to get the most bling for your buck. So if this is your first stop by Megan Grace DIY, welcome, my name is Megan. I've been a fashion high school teacher and a fashion college professor along with a freelance costume designer for the past 26 years. But growing up, I was also a competitive figure skater. So when I started to make my own costumes, I learned quite a bit about how flatback rhinestones um, are made and priced. So I'm gonna share that information with you guys. Before we get to the pricing part, I just want to kind of break down for you what material stones are made of, what brands are the best. So that way when you go to search online, you recognize some of the terminology because if you don't and go to search, you could get really overwhelmed very easily. There's a lot of different terms out there and I don't want you guys to ever get taken for a ride and buy something that isn't worth your money. So what kind of stone you want really does depend on the project that you're going for. There are a million different kinds of stones. There's different materials, there's different shapes, there's different vendors. So depending on what you're going for is really gonna dictate what, what type of stone you wanna get. Now, if you are a nail artist, you are looking for really, really small stones. You might be able to afford like a higher quality because they're less cost. But if you're doing something from, you know, rhinestoning a tumbler, or say you're rhinestoning your first figure skating outfit, things like that, that have a little bit more real estate to cover with your stones, you're gonna look for a cheaper stone just because you can get more for the amount of money you're gonna pay. In terms of materials, there's three main materials that rhinestones can be made out of. Plastic, glass, and crystal. Crystal is the top quality. It's basically glass with a 4% lead content and that makes it extra, extra sparkly. So crystal are gonna be the most expensive, but they're also the most revered and they definitely show up the best. So that's what you really wanna use for, you know, like your ballroom dancing and your figure skating and things that are far away. You wanna get the most light refraction. Glass stones are still really nice to look at. They look great if you're doing, you know, maybe wedding invitations, or again, you're rhinestoning a tumbler for fun or rhinestoning a pair of sneakers. So glass will serve you very well in that arena. Lastly, the plastic. So these are gonna be listed as either resin stones or acrylic stones. And these are the ones that they kinda, they look like cheap stones. You're gonna look at them and be like, oh, I kind of wish you were sparklier. So they just don't have the same, you know, razzle dazzle, but they're very, very cheap. So you could probably get what you would pay $100 for in Swarovski crystals for $2 in an acrylic stone. Branding. Now, I'm sure you've already heard me say it in this video, Swarovski. Swarovski is the front runner in crystal anything, basically. Um, but they do sell quite a few of their flat back rhinestones. They are the best for a reason. They are beautiful, beautiful, crystal clear, sparkly as anything stones. And if you are able or willing to pay for what they cost, then they are your best option. They're absolutely stunning. After Swarovski, there's a brand out of the Czech Republic known as Preciosa. Preciosa, I've never really been super duper impressed with their stones. I don't think they sparkle nearly as much as Swarovski and they're kind of getting close in price. So that is another option for you. If you happen to come across Preciosa and Swarovski and they're the same price, I would definitely go with the Swarovski, but sometimes they do cost a little bit less. Um, but like I said, overall, I don't really think that they've had like, they didn't wow me. They just didn't, you know, show me the best kind of sparkle that I've seen from Swarovski crystals. And then lastly, there's a bunch of different vendors all over Amazon and Etsy and things like that that produce glass stones. And these are often, you know, a pretty good alternative. Five years ago, maybe, they did not look good. Like you would buy them and be like, oh, this is definitely not a Swarovski crystal. But now they've gotten pretty good at imitating it. And the price is about a tenth of what you'd pay for Swarovski. 
So that's definitely another option if you are doing something that, you know, if you're not going to ballroom dance nas nationals and you don't need a costume for like a really high level of competition, you're doing a little craft at home or a project, I would recommend getting glass stones from Amazon or from another vendor online. Stones come in a whole bunch of different colors. Um, they're made in every color of the rainbow that you could find. And then once a stone is created, it could have a coating on it. So the stone might be, you know, blue, clear, yellow, whatever it is, and then there might be a specialty coating um, applied to the top of the stone. And the most popular one that I've already mentioned is AB or Aurora Borealis. And what AB does is it gives the stone that like rainbow, like sparkly quality. And you definitely would know it when you see it. Um, what I have found though in my years using stones is besides crystal, if you are gonna go, say I need blue, say I need something like a blue stone, and I'm like, oh, I'll get AB, it'll be sparklier. Sometimes the AB coating can very drastically change the color of the stone. So I believe when you go from blue to um, blue AB, it almost turns it green. And then if you were expecting a blue stone and it came in green, you'd be like, wait, what is this? This isn't what I ordered. And then if you can't return it, you're out the money and that's not good. So I would definitely check if you are trying to do something in color and you really want a specific color and you think you want an AB, just double check what that actually looks like because you might be in for a rude surprise when it comes in and it's, it's not the same color as you thought it would be. They actually invented the AB coating, which I didn't know this until I was researching this video. They paired up with Dior, with Christian Dior in 1965, and they invented the AB coating for Dior's collection. And how the AB coating is done is you have your crystal and it's like this, and they take a very thin layer of gold and, and vacuum seal it onto the crystal. And that's how AB coating is created. So, so that's kind of cool, a little, you know, fun fact. So flat back crystals can also be applied to whatever your project is in a bunch of different ways. Um, most common is hot fix, which means the glue is actually already on the back of the crystal. And then you have a special tool that you put onto the crystal and it heats it up, melting that glue. So a lot of people really like that, that way of application because it's faster, it's neater. You don't have to worry about glue spots everywhere. Um, and you can do a lot at one time. But if you are like me and weird and stuck in the past, and I don't know why I still do this, um, you prefer the glue on method, which is when you glue them yourself. So these are the two types of glue that I've had the best luck with. The first is Aileen's Julet. And I like, I don't know why, I just like the consistency of it and it's, it's worked well, the stones stay on well. Um, but the other one that you've probably heard of is your E6000. And E6000 is kind of like the name of the game for gluing rhinestones down. Um, very popular in like ballroom dance community and figure skating community. But what I have found with this stuff um, is it's not as easy to control. Um, I have gotten glue more all over the place than been able to keep, keep my glue contained. Um, and it's, it has a very, very, very strong odor. So try to do it, if you're gonna use this, try to do it in an open space because the odor is, it's no joke. And this, this doesn't really have much of an odor. There's also, I believe, a glue out there called Gemit um, that a lot of other people have recommended. So I will try to put links for all of those glues in the description below. So the last thing I wanna talk about before I start to talk about price is the size of the stones. And I came behind the camera because I wanna be able to demonstrate what I mean as I talk. Um, so crystal, round crystals are sized by the SS system, which basically just stands for stone size. So you're gonna see in listings SS10, SS16, SS20. And I think one of the biggest mistakes I've seen people make when they're ordering crystals is they don't look at the size and they order something that's way too small for what they're doing. And they get them in the mail and they're super disappointed because you know, they got a five SS when they should have bought a 20 SS. Now, different sizes for different projects. If you're a nail artist, which I've actually seen a ton of like amazing nail artist YouTube videos, um, you're gonna want like small stones because you wouldn't put a 20 SS on your finger. It would just look a little awkward unless you're trying to accomplish a certain look. I don't know that much about nail art, so. But usually you stay around, you know, the 3SS, 4SS, 5SS, which are very, very small. If you are doing apparel, 
Um, usually you start at a 20 SS. Um, that's kind of like your main point. It's five millimeters wide. And that's kind of like the basic stone that everybody uses. So anytime you see, if you see like a figure skater on TV and her dress is just glittering, that like beautiful look of it's just glittering under the lights, it's probably covered in 20 SS Swarovski crystal flatback AB stones. That's probably what you're looking at. So to give you guys kind of a demonstration on size here, I have five sizes in my hand. These are Swarovski crystals. They are crystal AB. So you can see they've got that really, really beautiful sparkle to them. Did my best to get the light like right above my camera so you could see how well they sparkle. But I've got them next to a quarter just to kind of give you something to gauge the size on. So this size right here, that top one, that's a 30 SS. So that's pretty big. And a 30 SS at one gross is probably gonna cost you $15 or so. This is a 20 SS. So like I said, that's that kind of main point stone that everybody uses. Um, this right here, this is I believe a 12 SS. We come down to a 10 SS. And I don't 100% know what size that is, but I wanna guess probably like a six or a five. And I had this in like a multi-pack of Swarovski crystals that came with different sizes, and there are ones smaller. There's a three SS, a four SS. And when you get down to this size, this is really nice for the nail art. And this size is better for apparel. Swarovski is your top of the line type of crystal, and it's going to be the most expensive. That standard stone that I'm gonna start using as a reference point, just because it's easier to compare prices when you've got the same reference point, the 20SS Crystal AB Flatback Stone should be about $10 for a gross, which is 144 in Swarovski, and it should be around $100 for a 10 gross pack, which would be 1,440 stones. If you were doing like a dance costume, you usually need Lighter end, like two to three gross, heavier end, eight to 10 gross. It, it can, you can, crystals get used up fast. You would be surprised. So if you have that kind of money to spend, I totally recommend sending it on Swarovski, but you shouldn't really be paying more than maybe $120 for a pack of Swarovski crystals. That being said, Preciosa, which I have here, which I don't think really compare as much to Swarovski. Um, these go for almost the same price. Uh, it's a different type of crystal. It's still crystal, it's not glass, but I just don't think that they're really, if they were significantly less, I would say yes, go for a Preciosa. But again, if you were ch given the choice of Swarovski versus Preciosa, I would go with Swarovski either time. Now we're gonna get on to the glass ones that you can find across Amazon. So this is my pack of, whoops, I didn't know it was open. Um, this is my pack of 20 SS, I believe it was a 10 gross pack crystal a B and they're really pretty they really do look nice this is what the pa packaging looks like and as I just I showed you guys the comparison you know I just they really do look like beautiful beautiful crystals so this pack believe it or not cost me $12 so compared to $100 for the same amount from Swarovski you can get these, they look just as good, I think, if you're doing like, say, wedding invitations or any kind of, um, like you're doing one of those Tumblr projects, I would 100% recommend these guys because they really do have a lot of sparkle and a lot of bang for your buck. And just to kind of give you an idea of what the bigger stones look like, these are a 40 SS, which is, that's a pretty pretty hefty stone. And you guys can see for yourself, they're, they're really beautiful. This is that Jolin brand again. These were $8.99 for a package of $144. So obviously price gets more as the stone goes up, but still $8.99 for $144 of these guys, that's a pretty great price. I don't think you can beat that. The last pack I wanna show you here is, believe it or not, these are known as Jet AB, and Jet means black. So if you recall when I was talking about color, how that AB coating can really change the color of your stone. Look how blue these look. I would think these were a blue. I was actually a little surprised when I look at the back of the package and notice that they were actually a black stone. Um, but they're still really beautiful in their own right. It just kind of depends on what kind of stone you're looking for for your project specifically. But this pack, this was a 576 count. Um, it is a 20 SS colored AB stone. The colored AB tend to be a little bit more expensive than Crystal AB, just as an FYI. But I paid $8.99 for this package of 576 stones. So $9, not too bad for a pretty decent quality of stone. 
Okay guys, so if you're ready, I'm going to take you on a little shopping trip. Um, we've already kind of narrowed down what kind of stones we're gonna look for, and for the sake of comparing prices, we're gonna stick to a 20SS flat back Swarovski AB crystal. Where I started was I went to Google and I typed in just flat back crystals. Um, I kind of felt like that's a good place just to show you where we're gonna start because that's what most people would do if they've never been introduced to crystals before and they didn't really know what they were looking for. Maybe they know that they're looking for flat back but they might not know terminology. So the first thing that comes up, this first ad, and you can see it's purple because I already clicked on it, is for 50% off sale Swarovski crystal flat back. Okay. Perfect, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on this. I'm gonna go to round flat back rhinestone crystals. I'm gonna go down to this page now. You can see how this is already like, it's a lot. It can be really overwhelming and someone who doesn't know what they're looking for might come in and be like, oh my gosh, this is so much information. So that's why I wanted to make this video. I wanna to try to point you in the right direction. And the biggest thing is I don't want you to get like screwed over with price. I want you to get the best bang for your buck, most sparkle for your buck, if you will. Um, so that's why I'm kind of showing this to you guys. So I'm gonna go to shop by size. And we're gonna look for that 20 SS. So 20 SS is our size. So at this site, and if you guys remember, I said the average, the average for one gross of 20 SS Crystal AB Swarovski stones is about 10 bucks. If you can get under 10 bucks, awesome. If it's above 10 bucks, like a little bit, 11, not a big deal. The 10 gross pack should cost you about $100. That's about what you're looking at. It's been that price for a very long time. Um, if you are going to, like say the city, you can probably bargain your way down if you pay cash, but um, online, about $100. At this website, as you can see, they had it, the original price for the 20 AB flatbacks at 471.64, and they're 70% off for 141.49. Literally seeing this is like why I'm making this video is because that's just clearly overcharging. I know they need to do a markup. I know they need to like run their business, but at the same time, it's just kind of, I think it's a little crummy to put like how much it should have been, which is nowhere near that cost. It's just a lot. So yeah. So now I want to give you a comparison. I'm going to back out of this page really quick. And I know what the secondary search result is because I already did this research before making this video. But the next search result that comes up for, for Swarovski is a place called Dreamtime Creations. And Dreamtime Creations is a pretty known um, crystal and bead dealer. Um, they're very reputable. You know you're gonna not get knockoffs. So if you end up here, this is actually a pretty good place to be. So let's go to Flatback Round Rhinestones. Oh, I'm sorry, actually. I wanna go to Swarovski the flat backs and we're gonna scroll down. Let's see if they can give me a, uh, a size. SS3, SS4, so we talked about those are like really, really, really tiny, little teeny tiny, those are like nail crystals. Let's get to the, it doesn't seem like they have an SS20, which is odd. Um, I think Swarovski may have been updating their sizes lately. Um, Let's go here, SS20. Okay, so here we are. It's the first, it's the first option. That's why I said, you know, it's the most commonly used type of stone. We're gonna click on it and let's see. So they are offering a gross pack for $12.30, around 10 bucks, that's pretty good and they're offering a 10 gross pack for 99.32. That's a very good price. So going back to that $141, no reason, no reason to spend that much. So let's go ahead, let's go back. And then let's go ahead, we're gonna search Etsy. So I went and pre-did the search just so you don't have to see me searching and whatnot. And I believe I found, okay, yep. So here's Etsy and when I searched, I found a Swarovski 20SS Crystal AB Rhinestones 10 gross package, $96.99. Good, really good, okay. Like if you need that many, if you need 1,440 stones, which depending on your project, you may, you may not, then that's a really great option. All right, so the last place I wanna take us is over to Amazon. 
where I'm already recording. I typed in the Flatbed Crystal 20SS. I thought this was interesting. You press the space bar and automatically Swarovski comes up. So it just kind of shows you that Swarovski is like the name in the game. So let's go ahead and see what Amazon's going to offer us. Now, this first thing that comes up here, 144 pack crystal flatback rhinestones, round, diamante, gems, non-self adhesive, 959. I know, I know Swarovski stones don't go for that much, but someone might come to this ad and be like, oh my gosh, I found like the jackpot. I found Swarovski stones for 959, a tenth of the price. It's not real Swarovski. Notice how they don't say it anywhere. Um, it won't be offered in the Swarovski packaging. So don't, don't be fooled, but like not to say those stones aren't good. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Those stones could actually be perfectly good stones for what you're working on. But if you're looking for a Swarovski and you're gonna have to pay Swarovski prices. So let's see this. This is actually a good listing. Um, Swarovski SS20, Crystal AB flatback, 144 pieces, one gross, 1201. Not bad. I did see one, I believe I saw something on Etsy for 950, but you wanna definitely look to see if you find Swarovski in, in the listing. So I'm taking you back to Amazon and what I'm gonna search now is Crystal AB Flatback 20 SS. So this would be when I'm looking for non Swarovski quality crystals. So you still want glass, you don't want acrylic or resin, it's not gonna like bling like you want it to. Um, but you can find some really decent crystals on Amazon for cheapy cheap, like 10 bucks for a 10 gross pack, which is pretty good. And the quality, the quality over the past couple of years has gotten a lot, a lot better. So these are kind of all the top ones. Now see, Swarovski's in there, one gross, 1250. But Jolin, this is um, the brand that I showed that I have and I ordered the 10 gross pack from them for $11.99 and they're, they're great. I mean, they're very, very pretty. I've used them for a lot of projects. Um, they came quickly. So for 12 bucks, not bad, not bad at all. Especially if you're doing a big project that you need a lot of, you need to cover a lot of real estate and you can't afford to like spend $5,000 in crystals. Um, they have lots of different colors as well, which I think is great. Um, so yeah, that would be my recommendation would be to go there. And then, um, you know, the next one. Okay, I've also ordered these. And yeah, so these are the ones that I have that are not the Jolin, but they're also glass. And they're actually, again, they're like not bad. They're, they're pretty decent. I'd say they're like a 75 out of 100. Um, they're, yeah, they're, they, you can tell a little more on these that they're like a little bit lower quality, but again, a thousand for $8.99 and they still give you like a really decent amount of sparkle um, for what you're paying for. Uh, so I really do hope that when you're looking for your stones for your project, this was helpful to you to not overpay, not overbuy, um, and not get taken in by any false deals or false advertising. Again, I've got two 20SS flatback crystal AB stones in my hand. I've got them next to the quarter for size. So like I said, these are those standard stones that pretty much everybody uses in some way. But what I've got here is on one side is the Swarovski crystal and on the other side is the glass crystal that I ordered from Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna count a couple seconds. I'm gonna let you take a look and decide which one you think is the more expensive. And if you guessed the crystal on the left, you would be correct. So the crystal on the left is a Swarovski crystal and the crystal on the right is a glass crystal that I got from um, Amazon. And the crystal on the left is about 10 times as much cost wise as the crystal on the right. So you might be looking at these going, what the heck, I see no difference. So if you see no difference, go with the glass ones. Don't, don't spend crazy money. Where I think you see the most difference when you're comparing Swarovski with anything below that is if you're doing a whole costume and you're standing further away, which is, you know, what you do in like dance performances and figure skating and, and ballroom dance. You get that overall like refractory sparkle that you're looking for. I don't think you get that as much when you use all glass stones. 
So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope I was able to show you some really cool information about rhinestones and make sure you check out my other video on how I apply rhinestones. Um, application can be different for different projects. So I'm gonna show how I apply to basic fabric projects. Um, but I really did hope that you found this information useful and will help you spread your budget a little bit further on your next project. So if you liked this video, you guys know what to do. Subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.